Good job. Videos like these are precious the for any parent. On the house. <laughs> On the house. Give it to me. Give it to me. This is two-year-old Osama Hamed. <laughs> To his mom and dad. <laughs> they mean even more because these moments may be some of the far too few moments <laughs> they'll have with their son. It was a nightmare. We were crying all night. It was one phone call that changed this family's life. I remember that night we took him out of his bed and brought him back to sleep in our room with us because I was like, he's gonna spend every moment with us. I mean, we're gonna cherish every moment we have. The family's pediatrician, Dr. Gina Dorenzo Coffey, had to make that call. That was a really tough couple of days figuring out how to do that. Telling two parents about their son's disease that does not have a cure. If you read the medical literature, it will tell you it's uniformly fatal, that there is no survival for Neiman-Pick type C. Every time, you pulled up that name, fatal was connected to it. Yeah. Neiman Pick Type C is considered a form of childhood Alzheimer's. Only 500 diagnosed cases. <laughs> the body forgets how to work. For Osama, it started with trouble standing. And then at some point, they were unable to breathe. And I mean, I don't know. We're not going to go down that path. Because there's hope. The family learned of a new treatment being researched in Chicago, and Osama was granted special permission to try it. But there are risks, and the U.S. government hasn't approved it. That was a parent's decision, and you know, in the situation, I think for for Osama's parents, there was no decision. It was the right thing to do. What would the other option be? Uh, the other option, Neiman Pick is fatal by 10 to 15 years of age. They didn't have another option. They didn't have another option. I know what. What's the worst thing that's going to happen? That I always have to think both ways. But I'm also, I always think that there is hope and hope that we are looking for, hope and cure. But you don't know. Nobody knows. And when your child's life is on the line, you'll do whatever you can to save it. I could not ever imagine my life without my child. I don't know how Parents have done that. Which now means trips to Chicago every two weeks for experimental treatment. Infusions into Osama's spinal fluid. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. And in Omaha, therapy. At least two days a week, focusing on his speech. And in sessions like these, strength and mobility. We really enjoy this. I mean, to see the things he can do. Right now, the treatments seem to be working. Oh, that's so fast. But because they are so new, no one knows for how long, which is why these parents cherish each moment they have. He's tough. He's tough, and we will never give up on him. In Omaha, James Wilcox, KTV, Newswatch 7.